Robustoro Bakara. Arabeon Robustoro Bakat Robustoro Bakoro Bakat Robust. How's it guys? Good evening, good evening. Bora Batata Bushtarebeandro Bokoro Bakatra Bushtare. Rebe andro bokora batra bushro. Rebe and as you guys, good evening, good evening. And uh, as you guys are busy climbing on, just want to give a moment or so time, and um, that everybody can just move and uh, get on and jump on. And as you guys are busy climbing on, bora bata to be andro bushro. We're gonna go into guys tonight we want to move just into a time of um just speaking about um of course the day of atonement and tonight is a very special evening for me uh just to be with you and we're going to spend some time of course in prayer uh which is just vital for where we are and uh, for what god is busy doing in the season so as you guys are busy climbing on I want to just create a little bit of, um, just want to create a little bit of a background for tonight. Well, first and foremost, just to say that, uh, thank you guys. I see the guys are busy climbing on. Um, I have such an expectation for our time just together in prayer tonight. Um, and also just to share with you, uh, guys, what, what the Lord is saying and, um, what I feel the spirit of God is saying to us in this season. So, um, and what we can expect. So. How's it guys? Good evening, good evening. And um, why don't you take a moment and as you guys are busy climbing on, why don't you just take a moment? There are many people jumping on. And um, as you're busy climbing on, I want you to tag your family. Um, I want you to tag your friends. I want you to, uh, to take this uh, time together and just share it. And uh, I just want us to take a moment because I know what the Lord wants to do tonight is going to be special. Um, God is just going to take us to a, a just a new place. I have a divine expectation tonight. I can't tell you. Uh, I just have a divine expectation for what the Lord wants to do um, and where the Lord wants to take us in this evening. So won't you just take a moment? Let's just take a moment, guys. How is it um, good again just to be of you? And again, just take a moment. And I want you to tag your family, get your family into this, uh, get your friends into this, um, and also just take a moment and share. We want this to go far. Uh, we want the people to be able to also be a part of what the Lord wants to do. And then, of course, please have your uh, communion elements ready. We're going to take some uh, communion together tonight and as a family and um so let's get into it guys let's let's just get into it let's start to pray and then i'm going to share with you uh what the significance is of our time together and uh if you want to of course i'm going to leave this recording on um it won't go off facebook so um so that you can just be able to refer back to it but as we start like we did this morning we're just going to give jesus thanks uh we're going to honor jesus tonight and um, as we do that, let's just put our hearts on Jesus and then we'll go through it one by one. And as always, I'm going to ask you to participate and uh, just to be a part of it. And tonight I would also want to know where you guys, um, you know, just for everybody's sake, guys, there are so many people that watch us um, and watch what the Lord is busy doing. So uh, just take a time again tonight. I want to ask you again for it. Take time, share this, tag your family into this. And I see many of the guys. Good evening, guys. I, there are many names running on my screens. Um, so I just want to take time. I'll take time tomorrow morning again to greet many of you. Uh, I just feel a little bit purpose-driven tonight. So uh, I see all the names. And just good evening to everybody. Love you very much. And uh, thank you just for being with us tonight again. So let's pray. Let's magnify the sun. Let's just uh, glorify King Jesus. And then we're going to step into it. Father, we want to thank you. 
for this night jesus lord we glorify your name lord we thank you that in this night once again we can come to the king of kings and the lord of lords thank you jesus that you are our atonement thank you jesus that because of your blood lord that we have been redeemed thank you jesus it's because of you that we can even sit here tonight lord lord we are so aware of the breath of god that is inside of us we are so aware god that you are with us lord we are so aware that there's a time of significance that is upon us father we are so aware lord jesus lord that this is not just a normal uh average uh time that lies ahead of us lord but we are aware lord jesus that it is a significant time it is a significant period and father i want to pray in this night lord jesus that our hearts will be awakened lord as we pray through it father thank you that our hearts can be sensitive to the leading of the holy spirit thank you lord holy spirit that you are living inside of us thank you lord jesus that you died for us thank you father that you've accepted us into the household thank you that we are sons and daughters of the most high god we do not have the spirit of adoption uh, for nothing we have the spirit of adoption by which we may cry abba father thank you father that we can lift up the name of jesus in this night the eternal son of the most high lord we love you we worship you we praise you oh father lord in this evening we just adore you father we just want to say that lord from the start we adore you king jesus we adore you king jesus why don't you guys just put that into the chat for me quickly just say that we adore you king jesus we adore you king jesus um let's just love the lord just for a moment let's put our hearts upon jesus just there where we are and um, let's just love the lord won't you just put that into the chat uh just say i adore you king jesus uh, i want us just to put our hearts upon him just put our hearts upon him Zapatoro, just say that, guys. Come on, let's just say, we adore you, King Jesus. There we are. Why don't you just pray with me in the spirit, just for a moment. Zapatoro bushta ro bokora bakata re bishta ro bokora bakata re bishta ro bokora bakata re bishta re biyondro rabata ro bokora bakara biyondro bushta ro bokora bakata ro bushta ro bakata re bishta re. So as we as we move into tonight, the first thing I want I want you to take note of is that of course this number five seven eight three is very important for us. Um, it is the uh, Yom Kippur. It's the, um, the according to the Jewish calendar. Uh, everything happens uh, the Jews are the end time clock we have to look at the Jewish people to understand what God's plan is um, and 5783 is very important for us that's the the number or the year according to the Jewish calendar um, and the Jews are God's people um, and we have to understand this about God first and foremost so as we move into the year 5783 which is basically from last night till tonight where the day of atonement gets celebrated there's certain significant prophetic things that is happening um and i'm gonna go through them one by one and that i don't miss any of them and also just to say guys as we're gonna pray through this this is not a exclusive list this is just the things that the lord has brought to my heart um and so again i say the number 5783 is very significant for us because according to the jewish calendar there's some uh things that we will see uh, as we move now forward because as it comes tomorrow um, the new year has started already so we actually don't need to wait to the end of the year to actually find out what is on God's calendar uh, we can just go to the Lord right now and see what the Lord is already saying so with the with the 5783 I believe that uh, we're going to go into a year of retribution um, we're going to go into a year of repayment we're going to go into a time and into a season um, where we're going to see massive re re retribution, we're going to see massive repayment um, and massive restoration. These things are going to happen. Um, and I believe that according to Joel chapter number 18 and verse number 27, of course the Bible here speaks about that we will have to see a worldwide outpouring of the Spirit of God, which makes me very excited that we will see, of course, an outpouring of God's Spirit as we prophesy but as we looked at the number 5783 what will precede what will precede this and we will pray about every point i'm going to mention tonight what will precede the global outpouring of god's spirit 
is a global financial movement that will happen. A global financial provision will come. God is going to move upon His people in this season. And two key scriptures for you to have in your heart as we, as we, as I say that is Luke chapter number one, verse number thirty-seven, and Luke chapter number one, verse number forty-five. And Luke chapter number one, verse number thirty-seven says this: "For with God nothing will be impossible." And Luke one, verse number forty-five simply says this that blessed is she who believed for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told from her from the lord so the first thing that we will see is that we will see a global movement of god's spirit that that is a fact and as we see a global movement of god's spirit we will see a global movement of god's provision you have to get ready for god to move upon your finances like never before and I want to pray at this place because I really am trusting God with every single person that this will be a time of supernatural debt clearance, right? When the Jews went through the, the, through the Red Sea, uh, God literally took all the debt away. And I believe that at this point, we have to trust God. And I want to pray for that. Um, and can we please say that? Won't you put that into the comments as we are into this? Because I want you to be able to declare that. We have to put breath to what we are busy doing. So, Father, right now in this place, Lord, won't you just comment, guys? Won't you just comment? Um, won't you just comment that? Um, and what I want you to comment is supernatural provision. Supernatural provision. And I want us to put that into the breath, into the comment section. Um, and I want us to be sure to say this because we will see supernatural provision. Father, I want to thank you, Lord, that right now, Lord, as we as we go through these points, thank you, Father, that we can say thank you already in advance for supernatural provision, Lord. Thank you, Father, that according uh, to the word of the Lord, Joel 2, verse number 18 to 27, we believe, Lord, that this will be a season of supernatural provision that will come upon the people of God. And even right now, Father, I pray for every single person that is on this line. Lord, every single person and their families that are connected, Lord, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that you've gone ahead of us already. We thank you, Father, that there will not be one person. And just say amen to this guy. Say supernatural provision. Agree with me as I pray. Father, I thank you that there will not be one person. Lord, that will owe any man anything. Father, thank you. Lord, we understand that the Jews went to bed one way one night and they stood up the next day with the wealth of Egypt in their hands. And so we believe in this night, Lord Jesus, that as we move into the season of 5783, that it will be a, a, a time and a season, Lord, where we will see supernatural provision like never before. Thank you, Father, that we can trust you for this. Thank you, Father, that we can speak this forth. Father, I want to pray in this night for every single family. Every single family. And guys, there we are. I want you to be able to comment to that and to say supernatural provision. Supernatural provision. Father, I want to thank you for supernatural provision over every single person in this night. In Jesus' name. And every family represented here tonight. Father, I speak that word out. We declare it ahead of time. And we thank you in advance, Lord. For that, what you're going to do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Then secondly, what you are going to see in this new year, you're going to see where the impossible will become natural. In other words, we will see a supernatural movement of God. That that is impossible in the natural, God will get done. Let me say it again. That that seems impossible, God is going to get done. We are moving into a year and a season uh, where that is impossible. I made a note here. I said the things which were impossible in the natural will manifest supernaturally. We're going to see a supernatural manifestation. Things that are impossible in the natural. As we move into 5783, we're going to see a supernatural uh, movement, guys. And I want you to be ready for that because that you'll be ready for the manifestation of the supernatural. Um, in your life, I say again, the things that are impossible for man is not impossible for God. We're going to see God doing things that are impossible and it's going to manifest in our time, on our clock, and we're going to see it. Amen. So what I mean by that is we're going to see the supernatural now, the supernatural now. And please remember, as we pray through these things tonight, we have to understand all of these things are possible because there was an atonement made for us. Like we prayed this morning. 
the atonement that was made was the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's because of Jesus that even all of this is possible. And all of this can even happen because of the atonement, because of the Lamb of God. Are you guys there? Are you with me? And so I want you just to note that tonight, that um, I have such an expectation just to say that, to say to you that 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 seems impossible in the natural is going to manifest supernaturally. I want you to just to be able to receive that in your spirit. We will see a supernatural manifestation. Um, it, the impossible will get done. So just declare that with me as we pray that out. Father, I want to pray right now in this place. Father, thank you that the impossible will get done. What is impossible with man is not, is not impossible with God. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that right now in this place, Lord Jesus, that we can declare this, that we can say this. Lord, that that is impossible with man is not impossible of God. Thank you, Father, that we are moving into a season of the impossible. A season of the impossible. We will see the impossible becoming now. I just want us to pray in the Spirit, guys. I want you to declare that. Say that with me. Say we are moving into a season of the impossible. The impossible now. Just declare that. Say with me the impossible. The impossible becoming possible the impossible becoming possible the impossible becoming possible just say it guys just declare that we love you Lord Jesus thank you that the impossible becomes possible we praise you King Jesus also what's going to be part of 5783 in this new year as we move into this uh we it will be a year of humbling guys uh it will be a year we will have to humble ourselves uh to see god with a fervent a ferventness let me say again it will be a year of humbling ourselves uh before the lord as we see god fervently it has to be a year of humbling we have to go lower still we have to go lower still we have to go lower still and i i just want you to grab hold of this because it has to be a year of dependency it will it's going to be a year of dependency we'll have to depend upon the lord uh the bible says he that trusts upon the lord cannot be uh, cannot be ashamed we will not be uh, we will not be put to shame because we trust in the lord our god and so it is going to be a year we will need to uh, humble ourselves continuously lower still the whole time as we seek the Lord with continued fervor, those that wait upon the Lord in this new season will rise up with wings and strength like they've never had before. It's going to be a season like that. Then the Lord said to me as well that this will be, it will be a year of suddenly. Suddenly you will see it. And again, I'm going to read for exactly what I wrote. It will be a year of suddenly you will see it. Suddenly the vengeance of God will spring forth on your behalf. Let me say again. It will be a year of suddenly. Suddenly you will see it. Suddenly the vengeance will spring forth. And God's going to do it. It's going to be suddenly. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. A new, a new, the Lord also said to me that a new generation will emerge. Even an older one who will seek the move of the Holy Spirit. The move of the Holy Spirit. The move of the Holy Spirit. And so let me just say again, it's going to be a year of suddenlies. Um, suddenly the vengeance of God is going to spring forth on our behalf. But it's going to be because we are humble and we have humbled ourselves before the Lord and we are seeking God with continued fervor. It's going to be a year of dependency and a year of humility. We have to humble ourselves as we take on the nature of Christ. Remember, Jesus was a servant. Amen. Come on. And so before I go deeper here, I, I want you just to understand this. There has to be a great dependency upon the Son of Man. Um, we will need the Lord. And this to, we will we'll need to cling on to the cloak of Christ like never before as we become very dependent upon the Lord. Um, it's on us, the people of God, that we will see a great move of the Spirit of the Lord. 
because we are of the ones that seek the Lord with ferventness. We are the ones that are desperate and hungry for God. Whoever you are on this line with night tonight with me can say that with me, that you are hungry for God, that there's a hunger inside of you for the presence and the power of God. Whoever you can say that, just say with me, I'm hungry for the Lord. I thirst after. The Bible says, He blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Let's just pray that out, guys. Father, I want to pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for a divine hunger that gets stirred in our hearts in Jesus' name. Father, I want to thank you that right in this moment, Lord, that we can speak that out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, that we will see a divine hunger, a divine thirst coming upon our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, that as your word declares, uh, Lord, that we will see it suddenly, that we will see it quickly, that quickly and suddenly, Lord, that it will spring forth. Lord, thank you, Lord, even as I sit here, Lord, I am sensing your spirit. Thank you, Father, that 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 seems impossible in the natural, we will see you getting it done, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that it is a year of dependency upon the Lord, a year of dependency upon the Lord. Why don't you just say that with me? Save me. I'm dependent upon the Lord. I'm dependent upon the Lord. Just declare that, guys. Just say that I'm dependent upon you, Lord. I just want to give space for you to comment that. And pray in the Holy Spirit, guys, as we go. Now I want you, there we are, I want you to receive this. This is very important for you to understand. With this number 5783, it's very important for us that we understand just one or two things here. As we move into this new year, there is a grace uh, that will be released to receive the riches of God um, and the wealth of the nations. Let me say it again. As we move into this new season, there is a grace uh, that will be released to receive the riches of God and the wealth of the nation. And even as we speak and we say it in this night, we have to understand it because this number 83 um, is the number for the mouth. It's the number for the word of the Lord. It means to walk in prosperity. It means to see a movement of God. It means to walk in the to the promise fruit. And it also means uh, riches being restored and a special grace that will be released. And so as we move into this year, um, even as we understand this, this number 8-3, uh, which is the number 3, is the number for Gimel um, in the Hebrew, we have to understand that we have to think like a camel. Um, because um, the number 20, the, the number year, is the word pay in the Hebrew and the word kaf. These two, these two words are important for us as we study the number 5-7-8-3. And of course, when you study this word Gimel, um, or five seven eight three what you have to understand is you have to think about a camel um, and when you think about a camel this is just prophetic language but it's important that you understand this is that camels were made for a journey in in a dry place in desert places when there was drought uh, cam camels were animals that uh, that were also uh, used of course for transportation and it was placed in a place of lack, but as a vehicle of transportation. In other words, as, as I say that, um, there are, this is a season for us to get ready. It is a season for us uh, to get ready for what the Lord is going to do. We have to prepare for the season that is coming upon the earth. Um, and we have to carry this. But we have to understand that even as we get ready, um, and I'm going to re read for you what the Lord said to me. He said that we have to be ready there. Or we have to be prepared for the season of drought. However, uh, we have to be ready to understand 
that the Lord has already gone before us and that even if as we are ready physically, spiritually and emotionally, God is going to do something supernaturally. And as I say that, I, I just want you to understand something here, uh, which I neglected to say, which is very important for us to understand. We're going to see a divine move of God in terms of finances. And God, because in Joel chapter number 2, verse number 18 to 27, which I just quoted earlier on, I said there that before we're going to see a great outpouring of the Spirit of the Lord, we will see a financial outpouring. And the reason why I said that is because in Joel, Joel chapter number 2, verse number 18, 19, 23, 24, and 26, we sing a restoration and an outpouring of the grain, of the new wine and oil three things that will be poured out uh grain will be poured out new wine will be poured out and oil will be poured out all of these things uh assigns to godly provision and a grace that will be released to receive the riches of god in christ jesus as the scripture declares right are you guys with me in other words um the camel means that there is there is, is a blessing coming or oh, the blessing of the Lord is being released and it also signifies a transferal of wealth a transferal of wealth I want you to understand that so it is a symbol of a wealth transfer and God's ability to supply your needs and transport you where you need to go during a season of barrenness and dry times let me read again as we go into the season we have to understand that this 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 number 5783 or the word uh, pay and cough the word gimel we have to understand it is a symbol uh or the and then we get again the picture guys of a camel um, i'm trying not to teach too much i'm just trying to explain prophetic language to you uh we have to understand it is a symbol of the wealth transfer and god's ability uh to supply your needs and transport you where you need to go during a season of barrenness in dry times. In actual, in other words, God is going to do a wealth transfer. That's simply what it means. In simple terms, God is going to do a wealth transfer. Because before He pours out His Spirit, there will be a wealth transfer uh, to the Christian, to the body of Christ, to us as believers. Amen. And I want us to pray that out because I also want to speak to you tonight about just two elements about healing that's coming restoration that's coming and miracles that's coming because there's seven strands of the supernatural and seven strands of uh what the lord's going to do in five seven eight three so father right now i want you just to comment that why don't you just comment this just say to me wealth transfer wealth transfer wealth transfer and i want to pray that out over us all father thank you that in this night we can pray in the name of the lord jesus the christ father we can thank you lord that in this night in this moment Father, we thank you, Lord, for a wealth transfer in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we will see this happening. Father, I thank you, Lord, even as your word declares, Lord, as we move into the season of 5783, that we move into a season, Lord, of a divine wealth transfer. Thank you, Father. Lord, even as your word says it, Lord, Lord, thank you that it shall be so. Lord, thank you that we can trust you for this. And Father, I want to declare that out over the people in this night in jesus name more about television i want you to just comment that guys just comment with me a wealth transfer and i want you as you comment that right now to even mention your family's names to mention your family's names these are things that we mention by faith come on by faith i want you to declare these things by faith put your family's name and say wealth transfer put your family's name wealth transfer you beautiful Jesus. There we are, guys. Would you just pray in the spirit? 
Rabat roboshtara bokor rabakat roboshtara bokor rabakat roboshtara bokor rabakat roboshtara Rebet rebeshter bokor rabakat tabayan roboshter bokor rabakat rebeshter Rabat roboshter bokor rabakat tabayat roboshter bokor rabakat tabayet rebeshter Rebet rebeshter bokor rabakat rebeshter biandro Rabat roboshter bokor rabakat rebeshter bokor rabakat rebeshter So I want to start with the first one I believe that we are entering into a season of double portion uh Joel 2:23 um I believe we are entering into a season of double portion Secondly, I believe, as I've just said very well, that we are moving into a season of financial abundance, Joel 2.24. Then we are moving into a season of restoration. Restoration. Uh, this will be known as the year, I say again, of retribution. Uh, retribution, re res restoration, and recovery. Um, retribution, restoration, and recovery. Um, Joel 2.25. We will see divine restoration. Um, we will see a recovery and we also will see a retribution. But we'll all, it will all be on the premise of humility and dependency. And let me say it again. It's going to be on the, on the basis of humility and dependency. We're going to have to be dependent upon the Lord. We're going to have to trust the Lord of all that, we, all that is within us and everything that is within us. And we will see a divine restoration in the season in Jesus' name. And I want you just to receive that this evening. Um, and of course, as I've said before, we're going to take communion in a while just from now together. But I want you to receive that for yourself tonight. And I want us to declare that and I want us to pray that out. Divine restoration, divine restitution and divine recovery. Divine. It's going to happen through the Lord. I say again, the things that seems impossible, it's not going to be impossible. God's going to bring that into the possible realms. God's going to make it possible. I say again, rest, sudden restoration, sudden retribution, sudden recovery is coming. I want you just to put those three words in, if you can. Sudden rest, retribution, sudden recovery, and sudden restoration. The three R's, I want you to put it in. Sudden rest, retribution, sudden recovery, and sudden restoration. And all of this, I say again will be on the premise of humility and dependency on the Lord Jesus Christ. God is going to lift the name of Jesus Christ upon the earth and we will see that there will be a resurrection of those that worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. On these there will come an emergence of power and authority like we have never seen before. We will see devils being cast out in this season like no other season. We will see healings happening in this season I believe that we haven't seen before. We're going to see miracles take place, uh, Joel 2.26, like we have not seen before. It is the hour of the supernatural. It is the hour of God where the Lord's going to move upon His people in a divine way, in a divine way, in a divine way. God is going to cancel demonic reports that was ushered in the season before. In this season 5782, which was really this, the, the year of the mouth or the year of the sun, uh, where it was the sun that spoke. And by the way, that's why we declare the word of the Lord when we pray. Because when we declare the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord is living, it's active, it's powerful. But more than that, we put our mouths with the mouth of God, Hebrews 4.12. And we declare with God His word. His word cannot fail and cannot fall to the ground. But God is also cancelling demonic reports in this hour. There has been many, there has been many demonic reports issued in this hour and God is revoking reports. I say again, God is revoking reports. God is revoking reports. And I want to take just a moment here um, and I want you, because this is a place of faith that I want us to enter into right now um, and to declare that together that God is revoking reports. Come on, guys, I want you just to say that God is revoking reports. There are many reports that went out in the season. I prophesied that or I said that on Sunday while I was preaching. The Spirit of the Lord just spoke that through me. That, and we spoke that many times. There will be a revoking of reports. Reports will be revoked, revoked in the season. Come on, are you, are you there, guys? Do you believe that? I just want you to say that. Rabatrobostrobokura bakatrebeshtrobokura bakatrebeshtre. 
just save me a revoking a revoking of demonic reports revoking demonic reports revoking demonic reports Father, we trust you. Just say that, guys. Declare that. I want you to declare that, guys. There will be a revoking of reports of health. I can feel the spirit of the Lord even as I say that. There will be a revoking of, of reports of health. There will be reports going out at health. God's going to revoke this. There will be reports going out over children. God's going to revoke this. There will be reports going out over marriages. God's going to revoke this. There will be reports going out over your children. I say again, God's going to revoke this. There are going to be reports going out about mental health. God's going to revoke this. There's going to go reports out about businesses that uh, the enemy will be saying it's going to go to destruction. God's going to revoke this. God is revoking reports as the scripture says. The Hebrews chapter number 11 verse number 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen by which the elders have obtained a good report. God is releasing a good report. And Father, even as I sense your spirit, Lord, I sense your spirit even as I say that, Father. Lord, I release the good report right now in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Father, right now in this atmosphere of faith, Lord, Lord, I release the good report. I release the good report. And there we are, guys, in this evening. I want you just to say that. Say, I receive the good report. I receive the good report. Father, we cancel. We cancel every demonic report in this evening. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we trust you like children in this evening. And Father, we thank you that every demonic report, we cancel them. Lord, we cancel them in this night. In Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord. It will be cancelled. Father, come on. I want you, there we are, guys. I want you just to agree with me by faith right now. Um, that we will just see this. A, a, a cancelling of reports right now. A cancelling of reports right now. I want you to receive that. Say that with me. Save me. Cancelling of reports. Cancelling of reports. Cancelling of reports. Not by mind, nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. A cancelling of reports. Say with me, I receive the good report. I receive the good report. Guys, I want you to, to comment that right now. I want you just to say that I receive the good report. I receive the good report. I want you to burn this chat up right now, guys. I want you to burn it up. Say, I receive the good report. We will also see divine deliverance that will happen in the season. This will be a season known for deliverance as we are already seeing it. Uh, there will be deliverance and more deliverance. We will see it. God is going to cleanse it. God is going to purge the church. The churches are going to get holy, cleansed out from the inside out. God, I tell you the truth. God is going to clean his house out. It's going to be a major cleansing that's going to happen because he's going to pour out his spirit upon us. And God cannot do that, not on the basis of holiness. We have to be holy. The Bible says, be holy for I am holy. And so I have to say to you tonight, we have to get ready for the purging. We have to get ready to, um, we have to get ready for, for that that God is going to do in and amongst us. And it is a fact that God's going to clean hearts out. He's going to do an inside wash. Um, he's going to create sons and daughters. We're going to see people rooted and grounded in love in this season like no other season before. Uh, people are not going to be orphans in this season. They're going to catch the spirit of sonship. The spirit of sonship is going to return to the house of God. And we're going to see people walking 
in a, a spirit of sonship like never uh, never before because we have not received a spirit by which we can fear we have received a spirit of adoption so we'll see that then two more things that i want you to you to note is and then i want to pray very specifically uh, a key thing that we will see in this hour as we take communion we will see god's divine presence in families god's divine presence in families god's divine presence in families i want to say that again you will see angels being in and amongst families remember angels are the army we are the citizens you will see angels and god's presence in the family joel chapter number two verse number 28 and so at this moment i want to pray for families and as before i pray for families before i pray for families i want you just to take a time and take a moment and quickly tag your family into and comment your family into the stream guys um before because i want to pray for the families and we want to agree over families tonight for God's divine blessing, God's divine presence, and God's divine blessing to come upon families. Joel 2.27 and Joel 2.28. Amen. Come on, rooted and grounded in love, guys. I tell you, that's the essence of the church. We're going to be rooted and grounded in love. Um, we're not going to be vagabonds. We're not going to be fake. Uh, we're going to understand sonship in this hour, and we're going to see God move. Um, the Lord's going to move supernaturally in this season, as I said before. But before I pray, uh, I just want to give us a, give you a time and a moment to tag your family into this. Um, I say again, you will see angels going in and upon families. And what I mean by that is simply, you're going to see angels go to work on behalf of the saints. Remember, they are ministers of help for the saints on instruction by the Father. But we'll see this. We'll see angels going to work for us. We'll see a lot of this happening. Um, angels will go to work and they're going to help the people of God. They're going to help us. And we'll be, we'll be aware of the divine presence of God. So Father, in this night, Lord, right now at this stage, Lord, I want to pray, Lord, for every family right now in Jesus' name. I want to thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that right now, Lord, we can pray for your divine presence and your blessing upon every family in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that we can say all that I've been saying right up to now, Lord, because of the atonement that is in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, Lord, that even though the world is being shaken, Lord, even though, Lord, there's many things that you will shake in this world, one thing that we can be certain about is that the kingdom of our God will not be shaken thank you father that on the revelation of who the son is we will have the revelation of who we are and thank you father that we can be rooted and grounded in love as we become more and more aware of the son as we transform more and more into his image and we ourselves become sons and daughters of the most high god walking in the supernatural naturally understanding that it's a time of divine appointment at the time of divine alignment and a time of divine assistance in jesus name one of the things guys i also want you to understand that it will be a season of divine assistance god is going to help divinely in this season we will see the lord moving in pockets of divine assistance like no other season it's going to happen it's going to be a season of divine assistance 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 i'll say it again it's going to be a season of divine assistance and so the seven things that we will see, I want to summarize and then we want to take communion together. There we are. I hope you have your communion ready. We will see, point number one, we will see uh, a double portion, Joel 2.23. Point number two, we will see financial abundance as there will be a transfer of wealth. Wealth will be transferred in the season. Three, we will see restoration, Joel chapter number two, verse number 25. Four, we will see miracles in the season like we've never seen it before. Joel 2.26, we'll see pockets of miracles. Miracles are going to happen naturally. Even as easy as you're going to speak, miracles will take place. Five, we will see God's divine presence in families and upon the people of God. Six, we will see the blessing of the Lord resting upon the families that seek the Lord. Seven, we will see divine deliverance. All of that I've said upon the above is based on the premise that we will have to be a people 
that will seek the Lord fervently in this hour. The time not to seek the Lord fervently has come and gone. We will have to seek the Lord fervently in this hour. We will have to humble ourselves before the Lord. We will have to understand that we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. And on the basis of being rooted and grounded in love, understanding that we are sons and daughters, these seven things will be manifested in our lives as the Lord leads us by His Spirit. We will also, in all of this, I can tell you, we will see that nothing will be impossible for our God. Luke 1 verse number 37. And everything will be according to our faith. According to the faith that you put out is the faith that God will answer in this season and in this now. And before we take communion, we're going to take communion tonight. I have a deep faith as I sit here. I cannot tell you. I have a deep faith as I sit here because I understand the season and the times. We have to be like the sons of Issachar. We have to understand the season and the times. And so as we take communion together tonight, we're going to do that on the premise again of Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Listen, guys, I couldn't care what some say. It's all about Jesus. Everything is about Jesus. Jesus has started it. Jesus is going to finish it. We're going to behold the beauty of the Son of God. He's going to be the, the beauty of our hearts. And we're going to fall in love with Him head over heels again and again and again and again. And as we take communion tonight, we're going to do it on the understanding that we are rooted and grounded in love. And we want to finish off with some stuff. We want to finish off with some stuff. And that's why we are not, the Bible says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds. And so this, one of the strongest weapons we have is the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. And the testimony of His body that were broken for us. And there where you are right now, I want you as family, again I want to ask that you would again make sure that your family is in on this because we're going to take uh, communion together right now. And as we take communion together, we're going to do it as a symbol that we are moving into double portion, financial abundance, restoration, miracles, God's divine presence, blessings upon your family, deliverance, angelic work, the impossible become possible, a transferal of wealth, a new humility and dependency upon God, and being rooted and grounded in love. Guys, there's much more that I can say about 5783, um, and I'll unveil more and more as I go. But I really feel that I want, at this moment, I want us to take communion together. And when we take communion together, we have to understand what we are busy doing. Jesus said in 1 Corinthians chapter number 11, He says, take communion and often as and as often as you do in remembrance of me as we take communion tonight we're doing this in remembrance of the blood that was spilled on our behalf and because the blood was spilled on our behalf there is atonement for us without the blood there's no remission of sin that's why i prayed what i prayed this morning i spoke everything about the blood if you didn't listen to this morning you have to listen to this morning the blood makes a transaction on our behalf and so when you are ready I want you just to take the communion there where you are and we're going to do communion together tonight and as we do we're going to pray amen because there's certain stuff we want to leave behind we want to leave behind debt we want to leave behind sickness we want to leave behind ill reports we want to leave behind um, brokenness we want to leave behind a lack of the presence we want to leave behind certain things we are leaving stuff behind because we are moving into the new and we want to do it through the blood this is a holy moment so i first and foremost i want you to understand and we take the communion because it is a holy thing it is a holy thing it's not to be treated cheaply it's not to be treat, treated just because of anything no we treat we treat the blood very very holy and so there where you are I want to pray with you and then we're going to do the communion together so father right now we come to you and first and foremost father we repent of our sins thank you lord jesus lord that we can trust the blood thank you lord jesus that we can look to your blood thank you lord jesus that we can look to the finished work of the blood that was done on the cross through the son of god and so father as we take communion in this night as we drink of the blood we do so on the basis of the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ and father I thank you that as I've spoken tonight father I pray that in this night Lord that your spirit will soak will soak the atmosphere where people are right now 
And Lord Jesus, as we partake of the blood, we do so in remembrance of you. We put our full faith, our full trust, our full confidence in you. And you and you alone. We know that you are the healer. We know that you are the, deli the deliverer. We know that you are the restorer. We know that you are the recoverer. It's all about you. It's all about you. And there we are tonight. I want you to just say with me. Just there we are. This is a very holy moment, guys. I want you just to take the, take the blood. Just take the blood. I've got grape juice here with me. I just want you to take the blood. And as you do, I want you to think about the Lord Jesus Christ. Think about what He has done. Think about what this blood means for you. Think about where you're putting your faith towards tonight. And the blood will do it. Shall do it. Will do it. Shall do it. The blood does everything. The blood removes sickness. The blood removes poverty. The blood removes pain. The blood removes shame. And the blood is what we use as we are covered by the blood redeemed by the blood amen and so there we are won't you as families and as individuals won't you just take the blood and let's partake together father i thank you lord i pray for my family tonight i thank you lord jesus that we can put all our faith and our confidence in you i pray for my empowered family tonight lord and every person that follows me lord i thank you lord jesus that in this night we put our full faith and confidence in the blood of the lamb in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Bora bakat rabosh raboko rabakat tabeyot rabosh raboko rabakat rem. There we are right now. I want you to take just a piece of bread. Just a piece of bread. The bread symbolizes the, the, the body of Christ which was broken. Jesus became so that we can become. He became sickness so that we can become whole. He became death so that we can become life. We can carry life. Jesus became so that we can become. Jesus became so that we can become. And we want to be done. <laughs> We want to be done of certain stuff, guys. Listen to me, precious people of God. We want to be done of certain stuff tonight. Jesus didn't take this beating. He wasn't broken on our behalf for us to, to sit with the devil and play with stuff and agree with sin and sickness and um, poverty and pain and agree with sin and anything from Satan. No, 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 no. We have to be done. I'm done of certain, I'm done of the stuff of this world. I tell you, I'm just done. I want Jesus. I want everything He's got to offer everything i don't want anything to do with the world nothing 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 i just i'm just in love of the king i'm just in love of the king and i know that his body was broken on my behalf so there we will take the bread tonight there we will take the bread tonight give me jesus and take this well oh my god father i want to thank you lord as i take the bread which signifies signifies the body of jesus that was broken on my behalf lord i do so in full faith and confidence knowing and understanding father lord i don't have full comprehension but what i do have lord is an understanding of what the body the body of jesus meant and father i trust fully in the finished work of the lord jesus christ we trust fully father we believe that jesus christ died on the cross for our sins and was broken on our behalf we believe that jesus christ went to the grave that he rose again he took the keys of hades hell and the grave and is seated at the right hand of the father right now and Father, as we take the, as we take, as we take, as we take, as we take the bread, we do so in full faith and in full confidence in Jesus' name. And there we are. I want you to take the bread and say, "Thank you, Jesus, for your body. Thank you, Jesus, for your body. Thank you, Jesus, for your body. Thank you, Jesus." guys there we are right now i just want us to love jesus just for a moment 
I want us just to love Jesus. I want you just to throw hearts for the Lord. I just want you to love Jesus. Let's just love Jesus just for a moment. All I want is Jesus. Just say that with me. All I want is Jesus. 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 Lastly, there we are. I want you to lift your hands right now. I want you to lift your hands right now. And I want you there's families to continue praying. The Lord is not done. Uh, the Lord is not finished. Um, but the Lord is, is busy with her work. And I want you as families to continue tonight. And I will be with you, of course, again tomorrow morning as we pray again at 7 o'clock. But there we are. I want you just to lift your hands right now. And I want to pray out over you. I just want to pray it out. Father, I want to thank you that right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that I can speak out the double portion of your people in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that right now we can release the financial abundance in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that right now we can release the divine restoration in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that right now I can release miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, that right now we can release God's divine presence in Jesus' name. Father, thank you that right now we can release the blessing upon families in Jesus' name. And Father, thank you that right now we can release your divine deliverance upon families right now in Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. I want you to say there where you are with your family again. Because as our families, guys, I want you to say, you and your family, we receive the report of the Lord. 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 Come on, guys. I want you just to comment that. We receive the report of the Lord. We receive the report. All I want is Jesus. Guys, I, I want to say just from my heart that I want you as families just to trust the Lord and to believe the Lord. And everything I've said tonight, I want you to take that. I want you to receive that. And I want you to take that into your families. I want you to share this with people. And even tonight, I want to ask you, um, there are hundreds of people on this line. And I want you to take a moment and to receive these things and to receive it as your family, to receive it and also to take a moment and to share it with your family. Share the stream, share it with people, share it with your family, guys, and share it together as families. This is what I believe a segment of what the Lord has started to speak to me about. There's much more to this. Um, and much more that I can say to this. And I'm going to unveil it more and more as we pray together in the mornings. Um, because it's, it's so much um, that is to be said. You cannot do justice just in one moment. So for now, um, I wanted to stop right here. Because I feel the Holy Spirit wants to do a work in the families personally tonight. So I want to honor what the Holy Spirit is saying in my spirit. So let's go into our families and let's do it in our families right there guys i love you very very much um thank you for being amazing people thank you for just praying with me and thank you for going into a new season a new era a new seven years where we will see double portion financial abundance restoration miracles god's divine presence blessing upon families deliverance financial transfer, sudden miracles. We'll see it. Angelic intervention as we stay humble and dependent upon the Lord. I love you guys very, very, very much. And I want to say that again to you. I love you very, very much. Love you very, very much. You must have an amazing evening. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock sharp, again for prayer. We are praying together every single day morning so i'll see you guys again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m for a time of prayer i love you guys have an awesome evening and thank you that we could spend some time prophetically together understanding where we are and what the lord's about to do 
Love you. Have a powerful evening, guys. See you tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock sharp, for another time of prayer and broadening out of what we said tonight. Love you, guys. Have an awesome evening and goodbye. Here comes heaven.